The last voting method we're going to look at is called pairwise comparison. Again, voters rank all of the candidates, and then the candidates are compared by pairs. Okay, so, for example, in comparing candidate A with candidate B, uh, if more voters prefer A to B, then A would get one point. If the uh, votes should happen to be equal, then each would get a half a point. All possible pairwise comparisons are made, and then the candidate with the most points wins. Okay, so this is a simple idea, but the analysis is a little bit time consuming. Okay, so for example, we have a fast food chain which would like to add a new item to their menu and the choices are tacos, nachos, or burritos and in order to answer this question they do a survey of their customers and the results are as follows. Okay, so we have this preference table uh, there 2,108 voters prefer tacos first and then nachos and then burritos. 864 prefer tacos, then burritos, and then nachos, and so on. So all six possibilities are given in this table. Okay, so To analyze this, let's look first at uh, tacos versus nachos. In this column, these 2,108 people prefer tacos to nachos, so T gets 2,108 votes. These 864 people also prefer tacos to nachos. These 1156 prefer nachos to tacos, and these 1461 also prefer nachos to tacos. These 1587 prefer tacos to nachos, and these 1080 prefer nachos to tacos. So adding up those results, we see that T gets 4559 votes to N's 3697, so T wins that comparison. T gets one point. Then we do the same thing for each of the other two possible comparisons, T versus B. T versus B turns out are exactly tied, and so T and B each get half a point. And finally, we look at N versus B. N versus B. N has 47.25, and B has 35.31, and so N gets a point. And then we see that T wins with one and a half points.